Hey, it's uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, I'm going to show you something called Kelly Criterion for money management and future trading on each new uh, trading position you put on. Uh, basically, it's a formula based around this. It's a percentage of your winning uh, probability minus your um, uh, one minus uh, your winning probability divided by your uh, win-loss ratio. Um, so I'll provide this link in Investopedia uh, just so you can go through it. But um, what we're working off of is the uh, positions table uh, in my database. And uh, I've, oh, I've created 11 dummy uh, positions. Uh, I believe uh, all of them are going to be losing um, and, and one big one. I've already tested it uh, in various uh, scenarios, but it seems to be pretty good. Um, and uh, I'll walk you through it. Uh, again, this is for my uh, internal uh, trading system that I'll be using for my future data analytics service. Uh, so what we're doing here is MATLAB. Uh, we do our query into that database. Uh, we calculate the size of uh, the posi positions table. Um, we set up some PL and number of wins and losses. We loop through the size of the positions of that table. And when we uh, basically uh, in the table, uh, I've shown this before in the positions table, uh, what I do is just kind of lazy man's way of doing it. Um, we've got the short entry uh, price and then somewhere in here we have the short exit price, okay? And then from there, we also have the long entry and the long exit. So uh, that's what we do. What we want to do is just try to figure out the profit for that spread trade um, on the entry and the close of each long and short. Uh, basically, what we're also doing is just displaying a message saying, yeah, we won, track our number of wins, also similar losses. Uh, also, uh, we just put out a message saying, uh, this is our long, this is our short. Uh, and then we have our P&L. Uh, for that uh, trade, and then we have a long entry and all that, uh, short, long exit, uh, short entry and exit as well. Uh, and then we display it, uh, and then we calculate our uh, total PL of the um, trade profit or the row profit in the table. So once the loop is done, that we've gone through all the positions in the table, um, what we do then is uh, Oh, before I forget, I could, I, I could easily just uh, go back maybe 10, 100 trades uh, for the time being, I'm just doing all of them, but just so people don't think I'm not doing it. Um, so we do is calculator ratio for the wins uh, divided by a loss. Uh, calculator Kelly has that uh, formula just shows you number of wins minus the one minus number of wins divided by the ratio. And we just print out the, uh, uh, the Kelly uh, the ratio and the total PL. So let me just run it and just let it run through all those positions. And here's uh, 10 wins, uh, 10 losses, ratio of 10. Oh, sorry, uh, 10 wins, one loss. Uh, the Kelly is a, just over one um, PL out uh, there. So um, essentially, uh, it seems to work all the logic. Uh, and uh, I just want to show you that, uh, that you can use this for money management as explained in uh, this link. Okay, so hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.